Good morning, good morning. Hear the birds singing behind me? I love the uh, sounds and the smells of summer. So it's, uh, it's Friday morning, uh, June, to, uh, gosh, I've lost track. What is it, June 5th? I think that is June 5th. And uh, instead of doing uh, Friday night with Rick, we'll be doing Friday morning. So uh, uh, good morning, uh, church family. Good morning, some of my uh, uh, Facebook friends. Just want to kind of bring you up to date on a few things happening around the church. So uh, give you a few little update on a couple of things and kind of, kind of, kind of share something with you. Uh, we are still looking for hometown heroes. Please, 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 please nominate your hometown heroes at info at pathway.church. Uh, let us uh, share with us things that people are doing that's just, man, doing great things for the kingdom of God. Uh, take a picture, take a photo, a short video if you have it, or just a story. But please, we, we want to catch people doing great things. we got enough bad news in the world. Hey, Don, I see you, man. I'm praying for you. I, I want you to know, Don, I see your request. I've been praying for you. So please, help us catch someone doing something good, just kind of being a blessing to other people. We have enough bad news. We need some good news. Let us know that at uh, info at pathway.church. Hey, this weekend, we're getting back on our mindset message series uh, so invite someone to join you online I mean we're still in the inviting stage right even though we can't worship yet in the body together um, in the same building together we're still worshiping together which means we're inviting people with us so please uh, be doing that uh, secondly a uh, following weekend uh, not this Sunday but the following Sunday uh, we are gonna be having pathfinders so if you're someone who's, God, want to take a next step in your walk with Christ, maybe you want to, like, what does it mean to be baptized? Uh, how do I join the church? Um, we're having that class online, Zoom, right after worship uh, this second Sunday. So I guess that would be the 14th. Somebody help me there. I think the 14th. And also we'll be having a baptism class that weekend. And we are committed to, in July, uh, one way or another, you're going to have the opportunity to be baptized and join the church. Uh, we, we're working on that, so I promise you that is going to happen. Angelo will be touching base with some of you who've already expressed your desire to be baptized or your child be baptized or to join the church. Uh, we're going to make that happen uh, in July, okay? So you can count on that. Now, some of you are thinking, okay, Pastor, I still want to know when are we getting back in the building? We're, we're moving in that direction. Uh, we continue to be in conversation with uh, our public school system and our local hospitals, and they're kind of helping us be the gauge. We're, I mean, we're in a partnership with them. We're working together uh, with some other lo local larger area churches, and so we're heading in the right direction. We are watching the numbers in Tarrant County and what's trending on the number of cases, uh, the number of deaths and everything, and we were trending in the right direction, and then boom, all of a sudden, uh, we had a couple of weeks where things started trending in the wrong way. That kind of set us back. Uh, but we're headed in that direction, so let me tell you what you can expect. Uh, there's a three phases you're gonna see to our getting back in the building for worship and all sorts of things. The first thing you'll see is that staff will be working more on site. Right now, most of our staff are working from home. Hey, I'm in the office much of the week, uh, but most are working at home. The first phase you will see, your church staff, you'll hear about it, they're in the building doing their work. That's, that's the first thing you'll see. Some may be working at home for various reasons. They can get their work done there, but the majority you'll see working on site. Secondly, uh, the church doors will open for some operating hours during the week. Uh, that will mean that walkers can come. That will mean that uh, sm some small groups can use the facility. That means that you can come up and have meetings with staff and kind of spread out and do that. That will be the second thing that you will see. Now, you know what's coming right after that. That is announcing that we're gonna be having our worship services on the campus. Man, and as we say, it is going to be epic. And we want it to be where you don't have to be overly concerned if you don't want to about the physical distancing and about the handshakes and the hugs. We know there's some that are going to be and you need to take care of yourself or maybe you need to stay home. But when we come back, 
it's going to be coming back full bore with everything we have. I mean, the the the, uh, the DNA and the culture of Pathway Church. We love each other, embrace each other, and encourage each other. But if you're someone that's going to be uncomfortable with that, we're going to have some boundaries for you that you can kind of help set yourself up to protect yourself. Now, something you can't expect when we get back in the body is that here it comes. We're going to be changing our worship times a little bit. Uh, we don't have, we're not going to announce what those are quite yet. We got some still some work to be done to make that public announcement, but we're going to make a little shift in the worship times to set us up for when we get into our new worship space next year. So you can expect that. We're going to give us plenty of time to wrap your head around what that means and and what's going on there. So just know, we when, when we come back to worship in the building, and we're thinking it's going to be this summer. Uh, we really do sooner more than later uh, and you'll have about 10 days or two weeks notice of when that's going to happen and i want to remind you that your church session uh, and your executive leadership team your staff uh, we are seeking the guidance of the holy spirit uh, for the well-being of our community as good citizens but also for the well-being of our church as a whole and i know some of you are anxious i know some of you are in pain man you just want to be in this weekend hey i don't understand uh, other churches are gathering uh, you can go do restaurants you can do this that, that, that's true. Uh, these things these things are changing. But we are seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit in concert with our school system and our hospitals and watching all the numbers. And we're going to know when it's time. And it, it, it's coming, and I can't wait. It, it's going to be epic. It is going to be exciting. Now, I need to say something about today. Uh, as some of you may have heard, there is going to be a protest uh, this afternoon in Burleson, Texas, from 4 to 8. I, I want to say something a little bit about it. Have a scripture, have our song, and set you on your day. I have a lot of things to do today, and I know you do as well. Um, the young man who is organizing this protest, he has been worshiping online with Pathway off and on here for the past few weeks. Uh, he's been around here in our area for a long time. He has a great heart for God, strong faith. And he has a heart for people from all walks of life. And he considers himself an activist. And he's doing a good job working to put this together. I want to emphasize that this is in concert with our local police chief. Uh, yeah, Chief Billy Cordell, uh, he's, he was on the front end of this. He's all a part of it. He's going to be supportive, he and his team. Uh, we have an awesome, incredible police force here in Burleson, Texas. We are blessed with a godly leader and a lot of godly women and men who love people of all walks of life. Uh, but still, they understand the issue. What happened with George Floyd? Uh, they themselves are appalled uh, at his death and the way it occurred, and also just the underlying racism that continues in our society. So uh, they will be there as well. I'm going to be there. Some other pastors are going to be there. But we're there just to participate and observe and, and be a part and pray. So if you're coming, if you're coming this afternoon uh, to the uh, to the protest. I, I would ask you, I would ask you please, uh, to come with a peaceful mindset. Uh, I would ask you to come with a peaceful mindset. I would ask you to come to practice what we taught last Wednesday. Now, I'm not going to go, I know last Wednesday, I'm, I apologize to some of you, I got a, a pretty long rant there, and I, and I spoke probably longer than I should have. Uh, but if you come this afternoon uh, to the rally, this is the one verse from our Romans 12 passage I read on Wednesday I would like for you to hold on to. It's from verse 18. It says, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. I'm going to say that again. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So, if you're choosing to come to the protest this afternoon uh, in Burleson down by the old police station, I want to ask you to come with that mindset in mind. I'm going to live at peace with everyone. Uh, there may be some folks who will show up who will uh, have a different mindset, a different belief than you, a different philosophy than you. Um, instead of getting into an argument, listen. Uh, instead of trying to challenge them, listen. I am try to live at peace with everyone. Uh, let's not get caught up if someone comes in from the outside and, and someone tries to stir up some trouble. Uh, it could happen. I don't think it will, but it could happen. Hey, don't get caught up in that. 
Pathway peeps, if you show up this afternoon for that protest, please put on your Jesus face, your Jesus life, your Jesus platform, and be the presence of Jesus in that setting. And the other thing I would ask you to do, uh, some of our African-American friends are going to be there. Go introduce yourself to them. Just, just go say, hey, listen, my name is, and just say hello. Uh, just embrace yourself. Make sure you wear your mask, please. Wear your mask. Uh, come practicing social distancing as much as you can if you're going to show up. But talk to people. Just don't come and stand on the sidelines. Talk to the young people. Uh, talk to, to folks you don't know. Just introduce yourself, and let's practice practice sharing the love and grace of Jesus right with as many people as we can uh, this afternoon afternoon at this pro at this protest one more time if it is possible as far as it depends on you live at peace with everyone hey now this has been a hard week hard few days on our nation on our country uh, a lot of you, I know, uh, a lot of tough stuff that is going on. And uh, I'm praying for you. I ask you to pray for our church. I ask you to pray for our nation. Uh, but I want to close with this little, little shirt. Liz Mitchell gave me this shirt this past week. It's part of my birthday celebration. It's the Waymaker song. And so uh, could we kind of close out our Friday morning time here? And you'll know when we're going to be in the building because you'll have no more Friday mornings with Rick. And some of you going, oh, I can't wait. Uh, uh, but let's end uh, in this way. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Sing with me, church family. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 That is who you are, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey church, go be the light of the darkness today. Get the protest today? I'll see you there. Let's go shine the light. Have a great Friday.